X on the spot. Look at this! Oh, she put up such a fight! Nice. That's what talking about right there, folks. <laughs> Beautiful job. Oh, that's a pig! That's a pig bass! Oh, stuck him. They're right where he's supposed to be. Best fish of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness, crushed. Another really nice fish. I'm gonna have a salmon on here. <laughs> Got him. Big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that perch. Angler X, honest, informative, real multi-species angler. What's up everybody and welcome to another Angler X video. In this week's video, we're fishing on pool seven for walleye and sauger. The water's warming up, so we're pitching jigs in shallow, catching some great fish. Don't go anywhere. I think you're gonna love this video. Catching walleye and sauger. Pool 7 of the Mississippi River. Michonne. Gonna be short. Sure. Think so? Yeah. Let's see. He's 15 and a half. I can see he's 14 and three quarter. Not oh, even. Geez. He's 14 and a half. Yeah. There we go. Nice little 14 and a half. That guy crushed the old Kai Tech on the quarter ounce. We're just fishing a sand flat here, and uh, sun's going down, but. We're going to keep fishing, see if we can put a few more in the boat here. That felt good. I like that. I wonder how they hit that bait when they get that quick doop. They don't have it. Do they already have it in and spit it out? They spit it out pretty quickly. They, you, have to, you have to pound them immediately. Got that one right under the boat. I'm gonna back us off just a little bit here. Fish on. And there's a, they're biting today. Just not much size for us yet. This is prime time. Time to put a mama cita in the. There's a big one. Yep. This will be a keeper if I get it in. Look at that jig. Oh, I choked it. Fifteen and a half. Nice fish. Oh, we're gonna get him here. I'm in the zone now. And good hits too. Oh, you got a little, you had a little garbage on your lure. No, that's another good question. Will they still hit it with that on there, or do they do they look that close to it? I don't know. I try you like, and, you I, like a clean bait? I like it to look as much like what they're eating as possible. <laughs> well, good luck with that cast, Dale. <laughs> Will they probably? Well, that answers that question. Little <laughs> guy, or...
Let me know. Oh, that's a keeper. That's gonna that's gonna be close. Oh he's Boy, gonna he's a keeper. He is oh yeah. oh yeah. Barely. You better not die and shrink. <laughs> Because if not, I'll see a lance. <laughs> right after ice out, the water remains cold and fish hang out in the 20 plus feet of water range. But as the water warms, the fish will move much shallower and inhabit shoreline structure and shallow sand flats between wing dams. In this video, we're fishing a large shallow sand flat that ranges anywhere from 12 feet up to five feet of water. The technique we're using is we're anchoring out over deeper water and casting up shallow and slowly bringing the jig back to the boat. We cast out, let the jig fall to the bottom, and then raise the jig slightly, letting it fall back down to the bottom, and repeating this all the way back to the boat. A series of reeling and letting the jig drop, reeling and letting the jig, jig drop all the way back to the boat will present the jig in a way that the walleyes can hit it on the fall. Almost 99% of the time, the fish will hit as the jig's falling to the bottom. We use high visibility line so that we can indicate when that jig has hit the bottom. It will suddenly go limp, indicating that the jig has hit the bottom. You reel up, let the jig fall, the line goes limp. You reel up, let the jig fall, the line goes limp. You reel up, and if the jig's falling and you see a jump in the line, that means a fish has hit the jig and it's time to set the hook. You do not have only a split second to set the hook or the fish will spit the jig out immediately. It's important to read the current properly. Walleyes do not want too much current and they do not want too little. Finding that perfect amount of current takes kind of a trained eye, but once you do, it'll become obvious what kind of current pattern you're looking for. Doubled up. Mine's uh, just short. 14 and three quarter. Yeah, that's short too. Nice Mine. fish. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Yep. This is, this is more like what we've been waiting for, I think. He's close. He hit right under the boat. Not a giant, but he's probably our best fish of the day. I'm guaranteeing, yeah, he's our best fish of the day. There you go. There's a nice girl right there. Oh, beautiful fish. That's what we've been waiting for right there. Gorgeous walleye. We'll get a measurement and get her back. And that's a 22 inch shirt. And look at how she ate that thing. Let's get that girl back. Oh, is it hard? Oh my God. Right under the boat. It's oomph. Very nice. Nice fish, sir. That felt good. That, that looked good. And I got this one. This one feels pretty good too, but not like the last one. Might make the grade. Yes. 
14 and a half. Yeah, he's... I can see it already. Yeah. I can see I'm it in our future. I'm afraid you're right. Dale, you are dead nuts. Oh, he felt so good back in that current. Here we go, 14 and a half. Wow, what a great day on the water. We got some great fish and had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.